How's it going everybody? I hope you're having a beautiful day. Today, we're going to be going over some baby dragon attack strategies. Going in with some live attacks, currently sitting at 3,053 in the world at the start of the new season. So let's jump into the bases and see what we are dealing with here. So when using baby dragons, the first thing you always want to look at is can you actually get cannon cart value to better assist your baby dragons? So the main things for the uh, what you call it for the can or for the uh, baby dragon attack strategy to be successful is that you want to take out the air bombs and the giant mega Tesla. If you can get the air expo, even better. So what I see here is pretty good cannon cart value at the bottom side of the base. So if we send in a battle machine and do a cannon cart walk. We can actually take out this arch tower, the uh, air exo, and maybe even get in range of the mega Tesla. So I really like this side of the base, making sure to watch out for Teslas. Teslas can be very, very bad if you're using a cannon cart walk. But let's see. Take out one arch tower. Perfect. And our cannon cart is going the correct way which is beautiful then we'll see we'll make sure that it doesn't get too close into the range perfect does not get in range of the multi-mortar we're able to take out the air expo and an arch tower with one cannon cart and our hero our hero is also clearing a good path so it's gonna get some chain value onto some key structures in the base perfect so now we wait it's a little bit of a waiting game if you're using a cannon cart walk because you want that cannon cart to get a lot of value. Baby dragons are very, very fast, and as this cannon cart works through and starts to deal damage on the Tesla, we can see that we're going to deploy one baby dragon on the elixir collector so it flies towards the firecracker and takes that out. Going to deploy one up top, take out the corner army camp, fly in, take out the arch tower, and splash onto the air bombs. Similarly, Baby Dragon on the right hand side of the base, take out that army camp in the corner. And now there's only one arch tower left, so we're just gonna send in the rest of the Baby Dragon, just spam the base. Do we need to use the ability? Maybe, yes. There's a bomb, so the, the ability is forced, but we are going into the second stage with a cannon cart. Three baby dragons, two of which have their breath ability, which is insane. So, now when you're on your second stage, especially if you sacrificed your battle machine, you'll have the battle chopper, which is very, very nice. So, first off, we're going to see what can we use to get rid of this, to use and get value with the cannon cart, right? Because if you don't use the cannon cart in the second stage, then why would you bring it in the first stage? So, let's see. We can get some value on the top side of the base. I like it. Take out one of the firecrackers right away. Not too much splash damage in that area. And it can start working on other portions of the base. So once it takes out this other trash building, healing hut, just pop it in mortar mode just to be safe in case there are Tesla's around there. So once that starts to go down, you'll want to send your battle chopper from the far left hand side of the base or the, whichever side of the base you're attacking from. But ideally you want to try and 1v1 a firecracker if possible. Sending the battle chopper from a far side of the base helps charge up the ability. So we can see this battle chopper, like I could send in a baby dragon to assist, but battle chopper is more than capable of 1v1ing the firecracker. So now that there is a fully charged up ability, Gonna start to send in some other baby dragons for the other firecrackers and ideally you want to have the baby dragons sort of tank for each other that is the optimal way you know in theory you would have one baby dragon sort of uh whoa lots of teslas we'll take those out with a baby dragon very very careful to watch for those but ideally you'd have one baby dragon targeted by one air targeting defense at a time no more, no less. If you do it that way, you can sort of save the HP and get the highest damage output on the base as possible. 
So we get a nice six star, nice two star on our base. So we'll jump into the next attack and see and dissect the next base. So again, we're looking for cannon car value. Do we see any? We got a centralized air bombs, centralized Tesla. Makes me think no. We've got a deep archer tower, so. Well, wait a second. We see there are no outside buildings on this side of the base, so we can actually push our battle machine into this corner archer tower and send in a cannon car in behind to reinforce and we are very likely to get at least both those firecrackers and the air bombs maybe even more so i like that strategy so let's go in with the battle machine once the wall goes down we will deploy the cannon cart so I want the cannon cart to try and go inside the base if possible. So I'm going to deploy it on that opening. And it should go for either the gold mine or the elixir collector perfectly and it walks inside the base. Sweet! So we're going to wait like we did last attack. Wait for the cannon cart and the battle machine to get some value. I'm actually going to pop the cannon cart in the mortar mode. Ooh, it's a bad angle on the uh, the giant cannon. So we do have to move our our cannon cart. Let's use the battle machine ability. Get some chains going, and it even locks onto the air bombs. Crazy value from this push into the base. So now we're just gonna let our cannon cart work, take out the build it all and then we might as well send send in the baby dragons as time is running a little bit short. Typically, once you get around like one minute remaining, you really should start to send in your baby dragons. And since we can directly target this um, Mega Tesla, we are going to get the splash onto the firecracker. It's perfect. And we'll use number two. No, we can actually save it. Perfect. Send in the other last baby dragon to help clean up. Probably wouldn't need it, but might as well try to avoid some of the air traps so in this attack we're going in with five troops into the second stage it's crazy that's how crazy powerful baby dragons are on weaker bases i highly suggest using them highly suggest trying to get better at analyzing bases to find the sweet spots to get that cannon cart value you can obviously spam in the baby dragons and hope for the best if you can use that one cannon cart, you can get so much value if you know what you're looking for. So again, we're looking to see where can we use our cannon cart to get some value. Let's see, the cannon cart might be able to take out the air expo, potentially. We shall see. Not like in these wall sections down here. I don't know. It might seem like there's Teslas or traps or push traps in that area. So we'll wait and see what happens. But uh, on the second stage, I do like to deploy the battle chopper around a minute, like 30, minute 35. So we're going to send in the battle chopper from the top side of the base. So we can start working and clearing out some trash. And then it'll probably lock onto the roaster. And then we can use a baby dragon to assist, take out the arch tower. Then another baby dragon to assist to take out the firecracker. So, even though we did not take out the the battle or the, uh, the air expo, we're just gonna have to send in our baby dragons. Hope for the best. So we do use do need another one on the firecracker up top. So we can use our last baby dragon with the ability on the other side so i did accidentally deploy two baby dragons on that one side of the base ideally you want to have them isolated to get that massive bonus on damage but we walk away with another great six star so gonna be doing some more live attacks for you guys let's see what the base is nice another two star defense perfect so we're climbing up we end today's video i think we started at like 3,000. we're gonna be up to number 534 excellent so if you like the video make sure to like and subscribe helps me out a bunch there are some couple more videos on the screen if you want to keep on watching until next time take care